hello hello happy tuesday it is today um i just thought i'd jump on really quick and show you a few extra bits that i've bought to um to further my obsession with tim holtz and all things tim holtz related um i've bought a few bits she says um from an online retailer from craft stash um i'm sure lots of people have heard of craft stash but they've got some really good bundles at the minute so i bought a, a tim holtz bundle um and a few other bits that i just thought i would share with you um first thing i bought um i bought some foundry wax now i've never used this and i don't really know how to use it but i'm excited to use it um the colors are really autumnal and, and i'm feeling that at the minute so i thought that would be really cool to to get hold of some of these um i believe you use them as sort of a as a highlight um um i mean it tells you distress foundry wax designed to create luminous metallic highlights on porous and non-porous surfaces the fluid wax transformed transforms even into a vibrant metallic finish once heat is applied so yeah i'm really excited to um to use these so we've got four of them i don't know how many they do i don't know if it's just two sets of two but we've got statue sterling wherever you are and then we've got mind and i can't see the other one mind and gilded and i just really like the look of these um and I like, as I said, the autumnal colour, so I'm I'm pleased about those. So, um, yeah, so that's that's those. Uh, they will be used shortly. Um, and then I bought these. I've had my eye on for ages. Um, the um, the thinlets um, by Sizzix, and they they're the feather ones. And I've got lots and lots of. Um, sort of collage fodder that I've I've sort of painted up and book pages that I've sort of daubed on that that would be really cool to um to die cut into different shapes and use as embellishments on the front of journals so I'm really really pleased about that um I then bought now I can't remember if the I think the four were a bundle let me just check my receipt before I tell you incorrectly um yes uh, a filing die bundle so i got the set of four um i've seen these everywhere and, and i kind of had thought to myself all right i'm not going to i'm not going to buy these but do you know what they're really cool and i've been asked to create um a journal for a, a little girl for a nine-year-old girl um and so i was thinking of what i can put in this sort of journal kit journal bundle um and i thought the little photograph slides would be really cool if i can do something with them um so that's i mean that's kind of the main reason why, why i sort of looked at this one but you get the set of four so you get i don't know if you've got names or just numbers they do have names so specimens there we are um you've probably seen these already but there we are postal this one is collector and I like this. This is chuffed about. And vintage labels. And I've got the little Diddy um, Sizzix die cutter. So some of these, I'm just looking at the size of them, we'll go through there. Um, and then obviously I've got the big one as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed about those. But yeah, I, I particularly really wanted that one. So I'm pleased we've got that. Um, yeah, and I think they'll, they'll go nice in the journal that I'm making, so that's cool. So those are my little Tim Holtz um, purchases that we're going to be using shortly, um, we, we think. And then I bought a couple of sets of um, acrylic uh, paints. So these are, I'm saying acrylic paint. Yeah, these ones water-based acrylic. Uh, Unique water-based textured paint that enables you to add vintage rust style. So again, gone with the, the autumnal colours. So this is um, Cosmic Shimmer, Shimmer Rustic Paints. Um, and look at those colours. They're so nice. So can you see the vibe I'm sort of going for with all the, the autumn colours? Yeah, I like that. So they were cool. That's a nice reset. And this is the... Um, 
I don't know how you say it, Stamperia, Stamperia, Stamperia. Um, anyway, there's these sets of, do they have a name? I don't think they do. But again, the colours, if you can see them properly, this one's sort of like a, a peachy pinky colour. Then you've got more like a stone, a cream, another kind of stone colour. And then the, the green and the burgundy. Um, I really like them. So I thought they would be quite cool. And actually, the whole lot came. They always come really well packaged from Craft Stash. I will give them that. Although they do use a lot. Um, so the, the, the five sets of dies, the foundry wax and the two little diddy bits of paint. I mean, they're not huge, as you can see. My hands are only little. Um, they're not massive. Came in three envelopes. Now, I'm just checking my address. There's not on any of these. Um, not that I think anybody's going to come and stalk me, but... So they came in, the, in, in another envelope, in a mailer bag, in a huge envelope which is like massive, which is, you know, like a 20 inch by whatever. So they came in that. And then there's also a set that came in this one, which is slightly smaller, which is 14 and a half inch. And then another one. So yeah, yeah, lot, lots of packaging. Um, but I thought actually, I'm gonna make a journal with one of these. Um, might be my next Tim Holtz thing. Now I said, I, I know I said I was gonna do one of the ready-made. In fact, I think I said I was gonna do ruin that but this next but i've changed my mind because i've just thrown a bottle of foundry wax in the bin as well hang on i'm mid tidying the room today because i've got this order that i'm trying to get on with she says wittering um and my little girls are starting to do their homework in here so i want a clear space for them so um anyway shut up Donna. so i was going to do that but change my mind i'm going to make something out of this i'm going to make a nice big journal and i may even do three of them with all these because I want to use these up and I thought it would be a good opportunity to use my new paints I've seen the tall journals recently everybody's doing I quite fancy having a go at one of them like a long sort of tall book should we do one like that one like that and then this one would be humongous I can't actually do that anymore I don't know if this is I feel like this is ridiculous this size so maybe we could cut this down and make two I mean, that is, that's massive for a journal. Huge. Anyway, so yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do um, next. So, because um, I'm chuffed with my purchases. Um, the other thing I'm on with at the minute, when I find where I've put them, is using my wee machine. Um, this is really old, it turns out. There's, there are newer versions of this, but I got this so cheap on eBay. Um, and this is the... A, a zutter, zutter, a bind it all. Um, really basic principle. I got this for very, very little money. And basically it's a wire binding, chopping sort of machine. So I've started to make a journal already as my test um, before I get on camera and make myself look stupid if I can't manage to do it. And so far I've done, I've used some of the baseboards that, that I bought in the eBay bundle um and just backed them with some some vintage ledger paper and some music paper to, in, to put inside um and then i'm going to punch this and all the different pages i'm going to cut down and sort of work on and and use some of the wire binds i mean i've got tons of them so we've got some white ones we've got some antique brass i've got lots of the antique brass i think i had some yeah antique silver ones i've got I mean, I can't even tell you, I've got like so many of them, like boxes and boxes and boxes. And that's not even all of them. There's like, there are like tons and tons more. So can you imagine the number of journals I'm going to make? Um, lots of antique brass, lots of antique silver. I think we've got some black. Is that a black one as well? Um, I mean, there's another four or five boxes of them in the thing. So we're going to make tons of these. But um I'm really excited to use it and it seems to me that it's sort of like a you know the we are if you can hear me as i'm turning away the we are memory keepers the cinch um which is quite expensive i thought i'm sure it's very good um and if they'd like to send me one i'd love to test it but i i'm sure it's very very good but they just they just seem a lot of money um and when i saw it was somebody on TikTok using this and I had to sort of zoom in to spot what the brand was. 
um and just looked it up on ebay and hey there i found one and then a hey there i found all the bundles of wires i thought why not and um and this bund this um journal that i'm going to be making today and tomorrow for um this little girl um her mum basically contacted me and said it's a Christmas present for a little girl who's interested in scrapbooking. Um, she's nine. Um, and would the mystery box be any good for her? Um, I don't think a nine-year-old would like the contents of what is in a traditional mystery box without giving away the mystery. There's a lot of old-fashioned, grungy sort of bits and bobs in there. So um, I had to think about the rainbow kit that I sell on Create and Craft. And the rainbow kit, I'm going to adapt and and come up with a new version with a fuller journal um and less of the bits of scrappy papers that you get with it so i'm, I'm having a play about that at the moment so this is almost my my um uh this little girl's almost my guinea pig i hope she likes what i send her um so i'm gonna i'm gonna adapt that and that's gonna be on my etsy shop it won't be on create and craft it'll just be on etsy um uh, exclusively on there so what i'm going to do is is so almost similar to this i'm going to make a wire bound journal with lots of flippy flappy pockets i think the wire binding rather than a hand stitch is going to be a bit more robust for a little girl a bit more user friendly um it's going to lie flat when you open it um lots of pockets lots of interactive elements i'm thinking um and then pack of ephemera and then some little bits some sort of rainbow pen some washi um some little cute posse notes a stamp so lots of little bits and bobs um is what i'm thinking so if if this sort of goes well and mum's happy with what i send her obviously she's not going to get it till december but if mum's happy then i might actually just look to release this uh, onto etsy so if anybody else is interested um for any bundles for um i say little girls but little boys too um any any young person who might be interested in scrapbooking or journaling or anything of that sort um and if you have any ideas if you have any um suggestions of something you'd like to see in there let me know um but yeah that's going to be coming to us soon i think so exciting stuff right i'm gonna stop waffling then so so that's all i came to show you just a little mini haul um short but sweet video um in a couple of days we will hopefully have the start of one of these then um i don't know which one to start with quite fancy the tall one Yeah, quite fancy doing that one. So I think we might start with that. We're going to paint it up, do some embellishing on the front, use some more of the um, the Tim Holtz. I think maybe want some of, more of the frames, you know, like the um, this one, something like this sort of set up on the front. Another one of the the frames on the front. Um, yeah, do something, do something with these um, and some good autumnal colours. So. Yeah, cool. That's it. Right. I will leave you be. See you later.